You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a new sand. This is Squishy Sand by Whammo, as seen on TV. Now, we waited three weeks to get it. We ordered it directly from one of those as seen on TV websites, and it took forever to finally arrive. I've been waiting to do all of the sands we have in one big video. So now that this one is being worked on, that other video will show up very soon because now I can just do them all at one time. So we have the squishy sand, incredibly soft and moldable sand, the moldable, sculptable, indoor fun sand that you will never put down. Ages three plus, and you get these tools with it. So let me get in there and check it out. Now where it is, where it is on the street that all of this sand, including this sand, Brookstone stand, Kinetic stand, sand, are all made by the same company. So, that kind of tells you something now. Now, which company is it? Well, I'm not going to tell you much information till the next video. Let's see. So, you get these tools. Here's my sand. Here's the tools. So you get this nice sculptor, a little scoop like a shovel. It says squishy sand, and then the roller. Okay, and then here's the sand. It's in a sealed bag. Looks like you just pull it and then open it. So, let me show you the instructions. There's the tips. It says... Always store an original bag or sealed container. Do not leave out. Do not get wet. Keep away from flame. Playing indoors, all that good stuff. And there's some warnings there. It's not edible. And it doesn't look like this one requires you to leave it sit out for a day. So I can get right into playing and checking it out. So let me do this. I didn't actually plan again. I don't know why. I've just start the video. Let me get my countertop cover here so I can work on a surface. I'll be right back. All right, so I put down my glass cutting board. There's the edge, if you could see it there. And there's an edge right there. Upside down, by the way, so let's dump it out. Let's check it out. Okay. And I have some cutters, different cutters that I could use. So let's just press it now and see. Now sometimes it does need to dry out just a little. It might get moist in the bag, but let's see. Okay, it's not, not sticking to my hand. Let me just grab it. It's okay. We've had people ask, you know, what happens if it's too wet and it sticks to your hand? Well, just let it sit and dry a little bit. Oh yeah, very familiar to me now. So this is squishy sand. Let's check it out. Now, we've done this in other videos and kind of, you know, did some basic stuff. So let's do that now. So when I get to the big video, I call it the big video. I'm going to have five different sands. And we're going to check them out on multiple levels. Now, remember, we were informed that... One company makes all of the sand, the kinetic sands. So you will see some color variations because, you know, batches of sand do change. But the overall chemical makeup is the same. Get this out of here. Okay, cut this one out. There we go. see how those stay. Let me cut this shape. This is a unique shape for a cookie cutter, isn't it? Hmm. Now how do I get those out? You kind of got to... I should have done it more towards the edge. There we go. So let's see. Hmm. I have eyes. I've made eyes. i made some type of nose. So I need a mouth, okay? Here, I'll just make a mouth out of something else. I'll shape one. Here we go.
There, see? He's happy. Happy sand. So it's holding its shape really well. See that? But then let's see if it has that same kinetic principle. you got to help it along with... Let me get a bigger pile here. I'm going to destroy what I've made. Do one big ball. I seem to get that good effect when you do this. And then let it do its thing. You kind of have to help it along just a little to get it started. A little more than that. Let's see if I do that. There we go. That'll do it. Let's watch it. Now over time it'll probably fall all on its own. But I like to help it along just a little so that you see it quicker. See that? Let's do it again. We have had people ask us, when are you going to get to that video? When are you going to get to that video? Well, it's coming now. I'm always somewhat mesmerized by that. Ooh, a little bit more. Clear out the tunnel. Okay, here it goes. It's going to go real slow and fall. Come on. You can do it. Let's watch it. Let me just squish it in my hands now, like I'm squishing a snowball. I'm just going to drop it. That's something I've never done before. Let's see what it does when I just drop it. Here we go. It's starting. Look at the cracks develop. These cracks are getting a little bit bigger. I'm avoiding touching it because I know if I touch it, it'll finish the process quicker. Let me drop it now. It's loosened a little. Let's drop this one on top of it. And smack. Oh, there we go. The one in the back fell apart really nice. Let me just do it now and not really overly pack it like I did and see if we can get a quick result. Here we go. That was a little better. Now let me just do it even less. I mean, you want it to hold when it's packed, so that's why I have to kind of nurture it along, right? So let me just loosen it up a little. Go a little higher. Here we go. That one worked the best so far. I'm going to go even higher. I do it again. Ooh, let it go. I know. I want to keep working it, but sometimes it's best just to let it go. It's hard, though. Okay, here we go. Super high now. It's about three feet off the top. Now that was a very loose pack. Let me do that again. Pack it tighter and go higher. Okay, here we go. See, it still holds pretty good. Ooh, that's split. It's like developing a split right there. I just want to poke it. Oh, this one's going pretty good. All right, 
it. See? That's what I want to do. Get it moving more. You run it through my fingers, get that feeling like, oh yeah. Well, there's a chunk of something in there. You see, it's still, it's sticking just a little, but overall, it's coming right off my hands. And it's not that hard to clean up. I think if I just take a ball, I can get most of it that way. Ooh, that sound. I know that bothers some people. Sorry. All right, so let's see. Squish it. I think what I want to do now is just clean up quickly, bring it all back in to a nice pile. And then do a little bit more cutting and rolling on it. All right, so I just kind of clean up off everything off of the cutting boards that fell off and kind of brought it all back in. Didn't take long, 20 seconds maybe. And here's our shovel, so I can show you that. And then this tool, which is a nice cutter, so you can segment your sand that's cool let me make a long loaf we're calling that a sand loaf okay there's a nice sand loaf here we go I'll pretend like I'm chopping Ooh, got a little off kilter there. It was going pretty even for a while. Ooh, off. There, there's my sand loaf. I don't know, everything to me looks visually appealing. I don't know, it looks interesting. Let me do another shape. Cut it like I just did. Alright, let's see. Let's go here. Went off there. Pretty cool, huh? You can make a lot of neat shapes and designs with this because it holds really well. So I think overall, it's very much like our other sands, and I wonder why. Now you will see some color differences, because the sand might change by batch. So that's why we've seen some, that's in the natural sands that is. Now we have a bunch of colored sands I haven't shown you yet. But what we're going to do in the next video is take something like this, and compare all the naturals before we get to the colors. Ooh, it's almost like I'm carving a pumpkin, huh? Ooh, I just chopped his head there. All right, so I'd say Squishy sand is good. There's teeth. So now, if you want to see some other videos with sands, we have those in the channel. We also have some basic comparisons with just a few. There'll be a description, a link in the description. Or as always, you can search the channel. And then maybe earlier next week, I'll show you the video, the video will come up with all of the sands together. It'll be a neat comparison. I'm going to bring some water in. I want to see what that does to it. And there's my face.
And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. And thanks for commenting and subscribing to Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.